going to look at how we can install Microsoft Dynamics 365 Developer Toolkit. So let's get started. First of all, we just need to download Dynamics 365 Developer Toolkit from internet. Once you search on Google, you can get the link. All right, from Visual Studio Marketplace. This is a tool from where we need to download it. So I have it downloaded for me. Before you're going to install it, you need to install one more tool. That is Dynamics 365 SDK. Yep. So here is the link to download the SDK for Dynamics 365. First of all, you have to download it install. Only after that you can install the developer toolkit. So if you're directly going and installing the developer toolkit, so what will happen is it won't do any kind of system requirement check or validity check in the beginning and it might fail if the SDK for Dynamics 365 is not installed. So I have both this application downloader here. I have the exes over here in my downloads. All right. So here I have Dynamics 365 SDK. When I'm trying to install it, it might show you some error about the protected mode. So go to more info. It will show you the information and click run anyway. All right. Click yes. So that installation of this package failed. All right. Let me try to install the SDK for CRM 2016. Okay, this won't work. It's already installed for me. So, but the uh, SDK for Dynamics 365 is not working. So, I'm just going to delete this file. Then I'm going to download it again. Download here. First file. Click next. It is being uh, downloaded. So, let's give it a few minutes. Once it's downloaded, we'll uh, start installing the SDK pass. After that, we will navigate to the install option of your developer toolkit. All right, so we got both these files downloaded. So I'm just going to install the SDK for Dynamics 65. Click yes. Okay, click here to accept the Microsoft software license teams. Click continue. Select one folder where you need to extract this application. Click OK. So it will take a few minutes to extract it. Once it is extracted, then you can install it. The extraction is completed. So if I just navigate the file, here I can see the SDK is extracted here. So there is no specific installation is needed as such once you just extract it. So now let's go to installation of the developer toolkit for Dynamics 365. Just double click on it and open it up. Okay. So select the product you want to install the extension to. So already I have Vision Studio Ultimate 2012 is installed and just check already here. So if you have multiple uh, main application installed, you have to select which one you want to extend uh, install this extension to. So click on install. So the extension has been successfully installed. Please close and restart all target application instances for changes to take. So let me close Visual Studio. Let me open it again. So if I try to create a new project now, here you go. So now I have the project types such as customization project, dynamic Play plugin library. Dynamics 3 package and everything. So that means Dynamics 365 developer toolkit is installed along with my Visual Studio. Then we can start developing the application right from your Visual Studio. So how you develop your application for Dynamics CRM with the help of developer toolkit that we will explain in another video. So thanks for watching.